Hi guys, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my shed. What are we going to talk about today? We're talking about the Lexmoto Echo 50, also known as Longia QT50. Does have similarities, same sort of workshop as all the other little bikes, the pulses and so on. Um, this is the bigger version of the Scout. So let's have a look at it, shall we? So here we have it outside. You can clearly see this one's blue and white. Or white and blue, whatever you want to say it. 10 inch wheels. They really could have done with being a bit bigger. I mean, yes, the profile is bigger than the little Scout, but still 10 inch wheels. And it's the only thing I'd say is slightly unstable on the road. What I didn't notice was the LED lights. These look quite nice. And they ride quite well if I'm honest with you. Easy to start, pull the brake in. Very good light bulb on here as well, lights up the road. So how much are we talking about? 995, a thousand pounds, gets you this little Lexmoto 50cc and you're on the road. Miles per gallon, 100 miles per gallon they boast. That's not bad, is it? Safe to say it's a little probably 8 litre tank in here, so 100 miles per gallon, I fill up every 100. However, it does have the all important fuel gauge. Very basic though, indicators, high beam, your speedo, now that's one I'll mention in a minute, petrol gauge. Here, high beam, low beam, indicators, and your horn. Kill switch, always handy I suppose, but you might knock out your glove. And electric start. Front brake and rear brake. So what do they ride like on the road? Stable, on the straight, 30, 1, 2, 3, a bit more downhill. But the 10 inch wheels do make it slightly unstable on bends. So in wet and cold weather, just be careful not to hammer along. Although 30 mile an hour doesn't seem fast, on a bend it is. So a thousand pound gets you a little bike, a little 50cc bike on the road that does 100 miles to the gallon, 8 litre tank, steady, fuel gauge. It's not too bad really, is it? You get kick start on here, as well as electric start. Disc front brakes. Although on this one, they're very stiff. So I think I'm going to need to uh, overhaul that. I mentioned the speedo, yep. As I said in my videos, they don't last long. They really don't. This one has gone. However, I don't believe it's the cable, because I would have tested that. I believe it's the actual speedo drive. But we're going to have a take a look at that. And uh, sure, I'll get that fixed. Little mag wheels. Twin front shocks. Back drum brakes. But guys, make sure you regularly spray this with a lubricant these can seize up in here around here and the spring itself big old air box always handy to clean that it's very very simple to do and a single rear shock back lights look good they are led so you get seen quite well center stand and a side stand however i strongly suggest you always use a center stand a little back seat compartment. I think you actually will get a helmet. This is very, very deep, this one. So you're more likely to get a helmet in there. And of course, the filler cap. As I said, around about eight liters you'll get in there. There is some front pouches, maybe for your gloves or something, but I wouldn't leave any in there, as you can't guarantee it won't get stolen. Under here will be the battery. I'm going to service this bike. As in all my videos, I'll always take the battery out and give it a charge. So what have I got to do this little bike? Front brake, really stiff. I'm going to take that all apart, clean it up, put it back together again. Speedo drive, take that off. That means the front wheel has to come off and have to check. I've had it before, I've got a round circle with two clips right that on it. And they spin round at the same time as the wheel. They can fray out. So before I'm buying the new one, I'm going to check it out first. And also remember when buying parts, Check that it's first it's broken, or you could buy another speedo drive, another cable, and it turns out that it's not it. That's why I took the cable out, 
span it round and I could see the speedo was working here so I knew it was something else. £1,000 gets you a decent little bike, tiny wheels that could have been 12 inch, a million miles to the gallon, great lights, indicator lights as well. This bike I'm going to drag in now, it's done about 6,500 kilometres, it's last service of 3,000 so it's definitely due a service, that's in miles, 4,000 miles, something like that now. I'm going to change the plug, I'm going to wash clean or change the air filter. I'm not going to touch the carburetor, it really does run well. The variator system, 6,500 kilometres. Do you know what? I think I'll take the cover off, spray inside with the kickstart because they do jam up. Take the variator off, check the rollers, clean, put them back or change the rollers. Uh, I think that's what's right to do this. And again, like in my other video, if you check out the end, go around these bikes with a maintenance spray. Just spray everything up. That's what I think has happened to this, really. It's missing the mirrors. It could have been down a little scrape of the road. We'll have a little look around it now rather than me chatting on. But you're not going to see the little bits I'm going to do, guys, because at the end of the day, I've done them in lots of other videos before. And there's not a lot to do to this bike, really. So it's a, a job done, as I say. So here's a nice little look around this bike. From the front, as I said, top end, lot of speed fight. The light doesn't. Nice colour in this blue colour. It could do with a clean, but it's just come in. And there we go. 4T. Big fat exhaust. Air cooled. It's got the fan. If it was water cooled, there'd be pipes coming out of there. Again, little tiny 10 inch wheel, but still good. It's not a bad looking bike really. Quite like dash. It has road presence from the rear. This is 16 plate, this is 15 months old this bike. Need nail plate in England. And from this side. That's it, nice colours for a bike. All in. Does look quite nice doesn't it? Last question, can I make it go faster? You're not going to change the exhaust, it's just no sense. Don't put the 70 kits on it. You can mess around with the variator, different rollers, you may get a few miles an hour extra out of it. Do not cut the pink wire, which the internet says. You've bought this little Fazman bike to be economical and reliable. These will do this as long as you service them regularly. That's my biggest tip, guys. Do not buy these and try and think I can make it a lot faster. You may get a few miles an hour out of them extra, but you're just going to knacker it. Don't upjet it. You want to mess with a bike, get a 2T. They love being thrashed around and messed around. Do blow up as well. Keep an eye on the oil. It's down the corner here where the fan was. Keep an eye on that. Definitely, it is just 1040 oil. It's a must, okay, guys? Forget about worrying about the servicing so much. Just make sure the oil is always topped up because they do burn a little bit of oil. Don't overfill it. Guys, please like and subscribe. Check out my videos around the outside. They have a little Chinese model as well, air boxes and so on. Check out my channel. There's over 300 videos in there that all will help you guys get on the road and stay on the road and stay safe. Like and subscribe, guys, and thanks for watching.